All right, gonna be using a 50 millimeter prime lens here. Nifty 50 is very light with the R5. It's a bit of overcast today right now, so I think it makes more sense to use the 50 because it punches like closer to the subject. And this way I can isolate the subject easily instead of like using light and shadow. Thank you. Thank you. 450. Vegetarian, perfect for this one. Got myself a fancy bitter lemon sparkling. Oh, that's bitter. I never had it before. I mean, I had this brand back at Costco. <laughs> had the grapefruit version, I think. But a bit of a name. He's pretty good. It's different. It's very interesting. Honestly, drinking this out of like this glass is a bit of overkill for me. It's been a very long time since I used the 50 and surprisingly, I, I kind of like it. It takes me back in the days. Like when I first started photography, I used a PCSC sensor with the 50 MP. It was more like an 80 millimeter, but soon I switched to like full frame and 50 millimeter was one of my favorite lens all the time because I can just take portrait photos, street photography, and just any kind of photography with it, really. And it's so cheap. Like if I lose this or if I break this, it's not gonna break my bank. However, I actually never gotten like a, like a 1.2 or even 1.4 before. I'm kind of hoping to see like what Canon has to offer with the RF version 1.4. Hopefully there's IPIS. If there's IPIS 1.4, 50mm, I think that's going to be a great lens for me to upgrade to from the Nifty 50. Um, not that I don't like this, I feel like if I'm traveling I'll still be using this one because it's so much lighter. But who knows, maybe the RF version 1.4 is going to be lighter compared to the EF version. Oh my god, look at this, so good. Yeah, look at the roof of this restaurant. It's actually really cool. It's full of frames of like posters and all these like vintage looking posters and collective things. It's really cool. It'd be really cool if I have like all of my photos framed up and put like on a ceiling. Even though I don't know how to, I'm not sure how to do that without killing myself. But the scenery idea is great. I kind of like it.
I'm actually scouting our location to take photos. I have some time right now, but it seems like it's very, very far. Well, here's like a halfway point, I think. Maybe, I don't think we're there yet. And the weather is just bad. You can't really see the battle for it. Let's keep going up and see what we can find. It takes about like almost 40 minutes. You got to walk here tomorrow morning. If I can see the sun rise, most likely not. And plus, I have to carry all of my gear. Oh, oh my god, there's more. Oh man. I only brought the 50 today. Well, I do have the Rico, but no tripod. So, that's gonna be a problem. Or if I can somehow stabilize my camera for the night shot. But sunset around, I think almost 9 p.m. today. Still have like an hour left. It's starting to drizzle right now, which is not good. I really hope it doesn't start pouring because I didn't bring an umbrella. And I have a really far walk back to the hotel. So that's not ideal. Well, this is it. So it ended up kind of drizzling a little bit harder, but not too bad. Found the spot, pretty nice one, but the weather is not ideal. Overcast the whole time, can't really see Matterhorn. I'm gonna try to come back again, maybe tomorrow morning or the day, the day after. We'll see if the weather is better. But it's gonna take me a long time to walk here, it's just for the photos, it's kind of annoying. Plus, I didn't have a tripod today. I had to kind of improvise, which uh, kind of worked. But the 50 is a bit too tight. Plus, like you can't really see the manhorn behind this, so it's really hard to frame to know like where the mountain is. But it is what it is. I mean, I feel like maybe the 28, 35 will be better in this case. We'll see if I'm able to come back again with a tripod.